Hey everyone, my name is Simsy. How you all doing? Welcome back to some more AFL 23 here today on the channel. We're back with Season 2, Episode 2 of my Brisbane Lions Management Coach Career Series. How is everyone doing? Here today, first up, we've got a match against the Collingwood Magpies. We've managed to strengthen in the last episode coming into Season 2, bringing in Ben King at full forward, Simpkin in the midfield, along with James Sicily in the defence here is the team as we get stuck into Collingwood. Looking at the ladder, we're currently rock bottom, which isn't good with two losses back to back, but it's still incredibly early days in this career series. There's plenty of time to bounce back. All right, we're playing on the brand new update on hardest difficulty. There's been some significant changes and uh, I'm keen to learn. So let's go. Dunkley looking to bring it out. Bombs it to full forward. Gunston. Oh, it's been spilled. Big tackle by Danaher. And it's a goal seconds into this quarter. Thanks to Ben King has been an absolute revitalization in that forward line. Now Neil dropped in the end. Interesting ball in. Sicily couldn't get to it. And the Pies getting a behind earlier now have an opportunity to go in front. As we go into quarter time, the Pies at the MCG. That's a big kick from the Magpies. And after a good performance by Brisbane in this first quarter, unfortunately, we trail. There's Chris Fagan, though, now in the update properly. Second quarter now. Magpies trying to bring it out for the back. What a spoil there. Only as far as Danaher, who winds up from the 45. Never fear. Danaher is here. And he takes the lead in the second quarter for the Lions. The Lions wanting their first win of the campaign. Lose the ruck contest. Simp Simpkin Dunkley trying to run it down. Oh, good pick up Simpkin. He bombs it to Joe Danaher. At full forward, it gets spilled. Only as far as Rayner. And it's a great goal again. The Lions kick two in a row. 18-7. Three goals. 1-1. One, one. Second quarter now. Ball in. Needs to spoil. I felt like I timed that one. But Collingwood are still a competitive team. They're going to bring it back potentially within a goal here. And they're slowing down the Lions' momentum. As the Pies slot that one easily between the big sticks. Cool, calm, and collected. A good goal for Collingwood. Second quarter steal. Can we get one back? It's spoiled again. Zorko turns, somehow gets boot to a ball. That's four goals for the Lions in their 10 points in front. Yeah, I found spoiling a lot more is better. Getting the ball to ground and try not to mark every single contest. Third quarter, Lions still trail. McInerney wins it. Berry hunting. What a pickup. Nearly gets tackled. Dodge one. Decent handball only as far as Charlie. Cameron who winds up from the 45. <laughs> what a goal. A stick of dynamite there from Charlie. McInerney back in the ruck. Goes up. Berry tries to get to it. Good clearance there by the Pies. Fort goes up and completely missed miss Mark. Oh, miss marks it and stuffs up the spoil. Same with Coleman ultimately as well. The Pies with Elliot. Slight angle on the 35. Elliot goes back. And the Pies have a lot of significant goal kickers up front. It's a really good goal there. Super, super clinical. It's a two goal game. McCluggage wins it. Bombs it to full forward. Bailey, it gets spilt. Cameron gets another. And the Lions are not down and out for the count just yet. Cameron sails that one through. And the crowd roars. Fourth quarter. Oh, sloppy bit of play there. Bouncing. They're trying to create something here, the Pies. Come on. Oh, no. How did Rich and Fort completely miss that? Come on, someone stop that. You can't let that ball come in so easily. Uh, well, from, what I'm, from what I've noticed on the harder difficulties, as long as you can outscore the opposition, 
you've got a chance of winning because whenever that ball comes into the forward 50, the AI is going to score nine times out of ten. Ah, this is going to be a close one. 20 seconds remaining. No! The Pies get a mark. But I don't think there's going to be enough time. He's going to go back and take the set shot. It's going to come within a point. He kicks it. But the Lions are ultimately going to win this match. McStay brings it back within a one-point game. Two seconds. And that's it. 36-35. <laughs> the Lions pick up their first win of the season on the hardest difficulty, on this hardest update. It is possible. You can win. It is just very, very lucky and uh, and timing as well. you got to make sure you spoil, get the ball to ground, and capitalize when you go forward. What a result. Man, oh man, that was so close. So Cameron with two, Kruger, Hoskin, Elliott, McStay, and Bobby Hill. Crisp, Neil with eight of the major ball winning. Nice. As we go and face the Fremantle Dockers. All right, moving on to round four. With that win, we rock it up the table a bit to 15th. We're not rock bottom. Here is the team. I think it's our best going forward. Uh, you could maybe slightly rotate some of the positions, but... We'll see how we go. If it's not broken, don't fix it. We picked up our first win. Let's go away to Fremantle. Interesting side. A lot of youngsters that have improved, you'd imagine. At Optus Stadium, let's try and get the win as Lockie Neal faces his former side in the West. What a pickup. He's definitely been the Lions' best recruit over the last <laughs> six years. Picking up Lockie Neal. There was no indication that it'd be a, a multiple Brownlow winner. But what a goal there. Or contender and winner. But Hipwood puts his name on the score sheet. This has been a super scrappy match. Either side really dominating. We're surprisingly in the third quarter now. With only 10 points in the entirety of the game. Lions with the goal. Frio haven't even kicked one. They go back here with an opportunity. And Frio, that's a big kick. How's he slotted that? And Frio go in front for the first time this match. With an absolute belter from the 50. Right through the big sticks. Third quarter steal. McInerney gets it over Darcy. McCluggage bombs it to the forward 50. King, oh, what a grab there by Jack Gunston. We've beaten the Frio defense. Can Gunston nail this one? He lines up, and that's a massive confidence booster there for the Lions. 13-9. Two goals for them. But this is a super scrappy, low-scoring fixture. Hopefully, the Lions can hold out for their second win of the season. In the pocket now. Third quarter steal. It's a three-point game. McCluggage dropped. Another ball up. McInerney in the ruck. Wins it. Only as far as Berry. And Frio turn. And are going to get their goal. Frio in front for the majority of this third quarter. Looks like they're going to have it with the lead in the fourth. Fourth quarter now. It's a one-point game. Danaher to McCarthy. The Lions need to make this count. Cameron. Spoiled. No. Win it. Someone win it, please. Simpkin. Lines up. And slots the goal. 16-21. The Lions back in front. Leading for the first two quarters. Narrowly down in the third. Just need to hold out that little bit longer as Simpkin scores his first goal for Brisbane. Okay, and we somehow get it back with Hipwood. And for the points, Hipwood, 
for goal four for the Lions. Oh, I'm just going to have to go with the drop punt because he's a, uh, a left footer, isn't he? Looking to thread the needle in this one. It's a good touch. And the Lions win two games back-to-back -back over a resilient Frio in the wild and windy west. Two massive victories as well. All right. I'm slowly getting better with the AI. I'm getting better every single match. Alrighty, moving on to match three here today. Round five, we host the Adelaide Crows at the Gabba. It's uh, going to be a good one. We're two games back-to-back -back with wins, and we currently have eight points so far this season. Two wins, two losses, still plenty of football to be played, but... With the way the gameplay in this series is sort of going, I think that making top eight is a reasonable objective. But who knows? We could make top four like we did last time. But here we go. Neil trying to get it out. Chopped down. Good hands, Cameron. Only as far as Berry. Oh, just inside the 50. Berry goes bang. And he was an underrated player last year. He's 85 rated now, and it's a great goal. Oh, they've changed the football as well. It's actually yellow at night. Nice. Another ball in. Bailey goes up. It's spilled only as far as Gunston. Oh, what a good spoil. Hang on. We've still got the footy here. It's bouncing for us. Danaher, good hands. King gets on the score sheet. What a signing he has been. And he celebrates ecstatically the new line. He actually looks low-key good. <laughs> In a Brisbane kit. What do you guys reckon about that? In open goal as well. Bang at the Gabba. Hopefully that's the first of many more to come. He kind of reminds me of a, a young Jonathan Brown, dare I say. As we go again here, we've won another clearance. Gunston now. Oh, shrugs the tackle. It's three goals back to back. And the Lions are surging in this first quarter. What a result. In our D50, we have a ruck contest. But the Lions look good. Three goals up. And McInerney loses it. Simpkin couldn't spoil it. Goes to Andrews. Oh, that's an unbelievable mark there by the Adelaide Crows. And bang smack in front at the Gabba. They are surely going to kick this one. No ifs and buts. Oh, that actually deviated pretty far to the right there. <laughs> The Crows bring it back within a two-goal game and are trying to destroy the Lions' winning streak. Let's go again. First quarter. Oh, they're chipping the football well here. There's so much space. Gardner needs to win it. Can't. And the Crows looking to bring it back within a one-goal game at quarter time. The Crows. I didn't realize it said Hungry Jacks on the back of it. Is that their main sponsor now? <laughs> the WA food chain. Okay. Still pretty close, this one. Second quarter. The Crows having a bit of a comeback. The Lions need to pounce on the birds. <laughs> on the Crows. It's in the midfield now. McInerney in the ruck. Goes up. Wins it. To Berry. Oh, releasing the footy well. Ben King, there's a lot of options there. It's spoiled only as far as Cameron. He gets the goal against his former side. It's a two-goal game here. Yeah, you don't have to mark it every single time because that's not realistic like real footy, but getting, getting the ball to ground and scoring off it happens a lot often. All right, Sicily looking to bring it out from the back. He's a wicked kick of the footy, though. Look at that, straight down the corridor. Danaher, oh, big mark. Risking the turnover has worked out well. We're just flooding it now. There's so many Lions players there. Oh, that kick could have been so much better. The Lions looking the better side in this term. We've been out marked there, and they're going to go straight down the corridor. Oh, why is there why is there so many free? Come on, that's so unfair. They need to put man marking and tactics in this game. 
Like, why is there someone free in the pocket or in the corridor? That, like, never happens. Like, there's two free like that. They go down the other end and score because of our defending. And we didn't capitalize. That's so infuriating. Uh, good handball there and a good pick up. The Crows lead by a point in this third. And are looking better. Why is... Why is... What? Uh, we just got so much space in our defense. And there's nothing you can really do about it. Like, oh, defend better. Well, you can't because the AI is not man marking properly. Yeah. It's nearly like you just have to outscore. And then if every... You just have to outscore. And then hope they miss. We're conceding so much. We've looked the better side in this one, but you just can't defend. That's a good spoil. Interesting ball in. Win that. We looked the uh, better of the two sides in the first two, but the Crows have had an outstanding comeback there. As Tex Walker steps up for his first of the match. Slightly puts it to the left. And Sisley now trying to bring it out from the back. Go down the corridor again. Worked out well last time. Trying to find Danaher. It gets spilled to multiple Crows players. Crazy handball and a crazy rebound there. And the Crows go a goal in front. Fourth quarter. Crows lead by two now. Dunkley. Trying to find someone. Bailey. Oh, wow. Jack Gunston actually got the mark ultimately. Needs to kick this one to bring it back within a one-goal game. Jack Gunston. He's a fantastic kick of the footy. Nails it. Inch perfect as well. And gives the Lions back some breathing room. Uh, Leicester on the mark. The Crows are going to line up here. If they kick this, it's going to be a two-goal lead. Oh, it's bending back as well. That's a really good kick of the footy, actually. Uh, we've let this one slip away here. We've got a minute. I don't know if we've got enough time. Coming to the last dying seconds of this match. The Crows chipping it around brilliantly with ease and there seems to be a mismatch there Sicily comes out completely misses the flight of the footy and now they've got a set shot from the corner with 20 seconds left the Crows trailing in the first two take the lead in the third and fourth to kick this for number nine that's a really good kick in the of the footy wowee and it's going to be a 20 point Lost to the Crows. Disappointing. And they nearly get another back there. But that's it. Full time. The Lions lose at the Gabba. Bit of an upset. We go two goals win. <laughs> There's De Koning. Sam De Koning. He looks so weird. <laughs> and the Crows are going to win. Ugh. Two wins. Three losses. Still plenty of the season. Still plenty of football to be played. But we'll be disappointing. We started off so red hot. Look at that. Look at the worm. Be winning the first two quarters, ultimately losing the last two as the boys got exhausted and fatigued, ultimately. Well, unfortunately, on that note, it's time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. There were some pretty good matches there. Win against Collingwood, win against Frio, loss against Adelaide, unfortunately. But stay tuned for Season 2, Episode 3, coming out the exact same time tomorrow where we continue with this career series. We're fighting for the top eight and hopefully we can make finals. Definitely want to try and make a prelim and try and get back to back in the grand final. But we're conceding a lot. Our defending is shabby at times, needs to be improved. Our goal kicking is wicked and our new signings 
have been pretty impactful. Ben King has been our best player so far. Haven't seen much of Simpkin, but he's filling a role along with Barry, McCluggage, Neil, and Dunkley. And Sicily has been pretty good um, bringing out the football from the back line as well. But maybe I should have gone with a larger body, like a bit more of it. I think we probably needed more of a key forward, but he's he's basically going to be that rich replacement once he moves on uh, next season, you'd think, because he's going to be quite old now. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic rest of your day. If you want to see more from me, check out the videos on screen. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.